Welcome back to the channel. I am Alan from Two Wheel Freak and today I'm going to take a quick look at some of the accessories that I've added to my Royal Enfield Himalayan. So one of the main things that I added to the bike as I was going to go off-road was the engine protection bars. Quite important for if the bike's going to fall over. Now, there are quite a few bars in the market and uh, I really didn't like the, the stock ones. Most of the bars have only two mounting points, which, which isn't the most secure. I've seen videos of them getting bent and then potentially bent back into shape again. Um, it's, two mounts isn't that strong, but I ordered the Givi. I don't know if I'm saying that, I'm probably murdering that name. It's either Givi or, or Givi, uh, G-I-V-I. So the, the Givi bars have three mounting points and they achieve this by the addition of a steel rod that slides through the frame, giving it a third mounting point to the bars. The finish on the bars is fantastic, it's a powdered black, really suits the bike. And you can tell um, just by looking and touching the bars that they're, they're really high quality, really solid bars and a fantastic addition to the bike. I think they look great as well as being functional. The hand guards was another kind of must have for the bike if you're going off road. Um, if you're going to drop the bike there's there's every chance that you're going to break a clutch lever or a, or a brake lever. You, uh, I think it's very important to have those protected. Now I ordered a set from Amazon, took a, took a chance really. I didn't buy the Acerbus or the the Bark Busters, they were quite expensive. I decided I would, I would take a chance on a, an Amazon set and I was pleasantly surprised, uh, the quality was fantastic, the the metal bar that runs around it, really solid, um, plastic, it has a good finish to it. Uh, the only th problem that I found was that the actual mounts that come with it for attaching it to the bar ju just didn't work, they were just in the way, it, it was either too high or, or too low, it didn't seem to sit where I needed it to be, it seemed like part of the, the brake mechanism uh, was in the way. Um, so I scoured eBay and I managed to find some different mounts that have a, a kind of U shape that would go underneath the the, the, the pipes that run to, to the to the front brake. Um, once I fitted these, uh, there's no problem. Uh, the bits from eBay were really high quality; they look good, and the the hand guards fit perfectly now that the the mounts have been changed. I decided to replace the, the standard screen. It's a little bit short. Um, I was definitely getting a, a bit of kind of buffeting uh, around the helmet um, once you start get, to get above 40. Um, and I had seen a screen, a different one, I think it was Itchy Boots had uh, fitted it to her bike. So I looked up the screen, it's sold by a company in the UK called Hitchcocks. Um, they come in a slightly tinted or a dark tint, uh, they don't have a completely clear. So I went for the slight tint version. Uh, I have to say pleasantly surprised, uh, again excellent quality, the, the screen seems thicker and a lot sturdier than the stock one. That slight tint doesn't bother me, it's actually quite good, I think it, it looks good on the bike and it's about six centimeters taller um, and it definitely makes a difference. I still feel like there's a a lot of noise hitting the helmet but certainly not the air just isn't as turbulent I can ride with the visor open and it doesn't bother me I think that screen is well worth it um, I'll put the, the web address in the comments um, but uh, yeah the Hitchcock screen I, I don't think there's any other place you can get it I think it's exclusive to them uh, and it is fantastic really it's it's worth a buy the phone GPS Pro mount that I have it is an excellent piece of kit, really solid built, has a carbon fibre panels on it with the, the logos on it, which seems silly but I, I mount my 360 camera on the left hand handlebars and it just means when the camera pans it does actually have the Royal Enfield logo is, is quite clearly in shot which has is, which is worked out well. But the mount itself is great, um, really solid, it's designed for off-road use, there's no movement from it and uh, it really looks good as well and that again is from a UK, a UK company called Enfield Accessories they sell a whole bunch of stuff for the Himalayan 
uh, that's, that's pretty cool. Um, highly recommend that as well if you want to mount your phone in a GPS unit. It's a really rock solid mount, really well made, impressive stuff. And on that mount, um, you'll see I've usually got my phone mounted there uh, that I use for navigation. And it is the quad lock mount system that I use, which uh, is absolutely excellent. I've never had a single problem. It's such a high quality mount as well. Uh, basically you buy a case, a case specific to your phone, um, which is a really top quality case, I have to say, really, really good quality. And it mounts by simply putting it on at a 45 degree angle and turning it until it clicks. It's easy to get on, it's easy to get off, and it's rock solid. I don't believe for a minute the phone is going to come off there. It's it's probably one of the best mounting systems I've seen. And there are other mounts for uh, an armband for running, ones for your car, ones for your desk. And uh, There's all sorts of mounts available, including wireless charging capabilities and stuff. Really good system. Uh, if you haven't heard them, check them out. Uh, I'll put a link down below. Uh, I think if you use the link that I have here, I think you get either 5 or 10% off, can't remember, but you get a discount if you click the link uh, that I have in the comments anyway. And the last thing is the Panair rails, it's the Royal Enfield Panair rails. Um, I didn't have to fit these myself, I actually ordered them uh, when I bought the bike, so it, it came with the bike and I have to say they're pretty good quality, I mean uh, rock solid I think, they actually, when you don't have the panniers on I think they offer some protection to the bike when it's just the rails which is good and the bike is basically set up and um, ready for panniers if I need them. I do have the panniers, um, but I don't actually have them installed. I guess uh, I'm waiting for a chance to go on a, a long enough trip where I would actually need the panniers, uh, but for now, it's just the rails. I have installed a, a tool tube on the inside of one of the panniers, uh, which has worked great, and quite often uh, I've just basically strapped a, a Krieger US20 dry bag to the side just to hold some bits and bobs uh, as I don't need the, the full pannier kit but yeah um, if you have the chance to get the, the panniers and the rails uh, they're really good quality so um, I definitely recommend those as well. So that's it for this video um, if you have any questions about anything else you've seen in the bike or you want any more information uh, just let me know in the comments if you enjoyed the video please give me a thumbs up uh, like and subscribe if you want to see more and there'll be a review of the Royal Enfield Himalayan coming soon, uh, working on that just now. But till the next time, take care, ride safe, and I'll see you all later.